in a weird new video. Pregnant Kylie Jenner hit her baby bump and launched her new Kylie Cosmetics channel to showcase her Halloween-inspired Kylie lip kits. The video featured Kylie and her best friend-slash-wife, model, Jordan Woods, doing a try-on first impressions. The products themselves were fine, though nothing we've never seen before. We were more interested in how Jordan, who always comes off very medically sedated, also seemed very obviously rehearsed. She made it a point to reference how the lip colors are good for quote, all skin tones, and how this one would look on dark skin, etc. Tisk tisk. The one color that Kylie specifically formulated in honor of her wife Jordan, Libra, due to Jordan's zodiac sign, ironically, doesn't suit her skin tone at all. And they both agree that it is unflattering. Oh God, who's in charge of this circus act? Jordan says, she wasn't even a part of the color choosing process, yet, they chose a color, for her brown skin, and named it for her. And out of all colors, the one for her, is a no. And somehow, they thought it would be a good idea to go along, and post this video anyway. Gosh, I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. When we first clicked on the video, we wondered why Jordan was there to showcase the colors for Kylie's company, and now we know why. Jordan, as always, is the token black girl. And no, not an Issa Rae token black, more like, a Stacy Dash, clueless, type of token. It all started to make sense. Ever since the launch of Rihanna's 40 Shades of Fenty, many cosmetic companies have been going the extra mile. To let people know that, they too, are quote, inclusive, of all skin tones. I don't believe any companies took more heat than Kim Kardashian's KKW Beauty and Kylie Cosmetics. Some say it's over Jeffree Star and Kim's newfound friendship. Some say it's because KKW, though for dark people, it is not for the darkest of dark. Who knows? Honestly, with so many contour products and other companies on the market, I really think people just don't like the Kardashian Jenners and any reason to shade and troll them is valid in people's minds. Nonetheless, Brianna's fans went all the way in on Kylie, because Kylie, like bait on a hook, took to Twitter. In an obvious PR move, promoting a previously defunct gloss that magically returned after the launch of Fenty Beauty. Saying, the brown sugar, liquid lip gloss, is quote, the perfect nude for deeper skin tones. Kylie was trolled into literal oblivion. Her original lips, couldn't take the heat. She unfollowed Rihanna on Twitter, as if Rihanna was the one trolling her. All that did was prove to everyone that Kylie's intentions were not to genuinely promote her own line, but that she clearly felt intimidated by Rihanna and her newfound power in the beauty industry, particularly with women of color, who for some reason, Kylie thinks she can relate to. Fast forward back to this new Kylie Cosmetics YouTube video, Kylie is trying so hard to catch up to Rihanna, that in the video, not only did she use, fair skin token black friend Jordan, but she also decided to match her skin, to Jordan's skin tone. We couldn't believe our eyes, suddenly pale little pancake lip Kylie, was sitting there, in full lips, curvature, and magically brown skin. She and Jordan were hand in hand and it was hard to tell who was whom. If Kylie thinks that this was appropriate in a way to be inclusive, then we suggest she takes a course or 40 in black history, cultural appropriation. Madam C.J. Walker, Fashion Fair, and learn the reason why Fenty Beauty's launch was so powerful in the first place. Even as a rich white woman, I know that there's just no way that Kylie is the slightest bit educated when it comes to her wannabe target audience. But in lip enhancement is one thing. However, it is not okay to change your skin tone to show inclusivity, when you could have just been inclusive, and showed the products on people who naturally have darker skin tones. And more unfortunate is the fact that she has a massive team of older, so-called wiser, experts around her who also have no clue. How dreadful. With a biracial child on the way, and biracial nieces and nephews, we would like to see Kylie do better. Though, we are not holding our breath. Let us know what you think about this messy mess in the comments.